Hello again, everybody. Well, qualifying is over and done with. And guess what? We have got a brand new TCI Europe champion. So uh, this man, Franco Girolami, has done the business. And I can see Franco in the background. So let's, uh, there he is indeed. Let's go and grab a quick word with our new champion. There he is, be beavering away, replying to a million messages on his phone, no doubt, offering his well dones. So uh, Franco, Franco. My friend, a new TCI Europe champion. How are you feeling, man? I can't believe it, really. Uh, it's like uh, I can't understand, but I am so, so happy for all the team, for for all my family, Victor Davidovsky, for, for helping me. As I say, uh, I work for this every day from the beginning, two years ago when I arrived here in Europe. So really, I can't believe it. But okay, now we keep the focus in race and then ensure a, a little bit more. Yeah, I've got to admit, in the commentary, I had a little tear in my eye when you crossed the line. So really, really well done. And does that change your approach to the weekend or is it just have fun on track in the race as the new champion? Obviously, uh, I can say no, I am the same. Obviously, I am a little bit more relaxed. But now, as I say, I, I want to keep the focus in race and, and, and fight for we are P4 today and P7 tomorrow, so uh, we have uh, until to race uh, in front of us. But okay, to <laughs> now to race like this is more comfortable, I can say. Uh, but okay, I, I am so so happy for all Audi come to you for for all the engineer mechanic, give me amazing car without mistake every year. Uh, I think uh, we need we, we 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 won the championship in all the year, not only today. So I am so so proud to to be inside the. They come to you racing and the big question the last question does it feel as good as you thought it would do as a young lad in argentina dreaming of this moment uh, uh, i i i can't believe it uh, in terms of it's very difficult for for all the south american driver to 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 jump to 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 to, to, to be here in europe to take the decision uh, and I, I, I can say that uh, uh, have sense to take the risk to, to cross the, 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 the sea and, and arrive here in Europe and, and try to, to, to do the best. So uh, I am so, so happy also for, for all the Argentinian people who, who are pushing for me. Well, Franco, this is my first season of commentating and you're my first ever champion. So you always remember your first. Well done. Thank you. Thank well you, done, mate. mate. Thank you. Brilliant. So Franco Girolami, our new champion, which is absolutely incredible, delivered on his promise. And look, now or never, never a truer word spoken. Brilliant champion, great ambassador for the sport as well. And I'm sure he's going to enjoy, enjoy it a lot more once the race is over and done with. He's still got a job to do, of course, and he's still got a team's championship to wrap up. So uh, Franco, Get about the business stuff and I dare say there'll be a little bit of refreshing beverages consumed on Sunday night. Now I'm hoping I can find Jack because I have no idea where that came from but Jack's pace was just sensational. Here's the man, what engine's in that? Is that a V8 or something? Because the speed he showed was incredible for Jack Young. Uh, fastest time in P1 and then pole position for Q2 and not by a little bit in TCR touring car racing often the times are split by fractions of a second and Jack Young turned that <laughs> into night and day differences so quick all the way through quick in practice as well and where is it let's see if I can find the man of the moment himself. He had a birthday cake yesterday for his 21st. Uh, so maybe that birthday cake has some go faster juice in it. Is Jack anywhere? Oh, that's no go. I'll interrupt. I'll spoil his food. Right, okay, thank you. So he's having some food. I may be, I might be generous and leave him be on that one. But uh, great result. That's the Halder team. There we go. Birthday banners are up as well. So yeah, we'll come back to Jack. Hopefully we can find him in a little bit after he's had his, uh, his power, power food. And the, the famous Halder sim, sim that Nuno constantly pesters me to go and race. So let's see how they get on. But we'll come back to that one. Not been on it today. Not been on the Barcelona circuit. Oh, Jack's here, look. Yes, Jack's here. Dun, dun, dun. He's not eating. They tell me lies. Linda lies to me. 
Hello, everybody. I'm going to interrupt you all and point a sticky camera thing in your face. Jack, what, what have you been doing? Where the hell did that come from? That was fast. Yeah, I had my Frosties for breakfast and then a wee espresso before, uh, before qualifying. I was telling Josh and, yeah, put it together. Because yeah, I mean that wasn't even like close. That was what was it four I tenths in. Feel bad for <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but I just the, you seem to have pace to spare. Uh, what's different? Is it just hooked up and you're hooked up or what? Yeah, everything's just working well at the moment, but job's not finished, so we'll see. Yeah, bad luck's followed you like the plague this season. So what what new mystery thing is going to go wrong in the race to spoil a potentially good result? So are you feeling good? I mean, not getting tapped from the rear would be nice, and hopefully that should help get through the race. Well, awesome job, Jack. Well done, mate. And I'm gonna have a quick word with Josh, if I can. The strategy for P10 yeah. didn't quite work. No. Uh, he didn't lift off and off us at all. I think it was way too fast. Way too fast. Uh, we decided a lap time. Um, 55 zero was, was the aim. And for some reason on that last lap, the delta in the car didn't work. It was telling me I was two seconds slower, so I made a complete guess and it was wrong. But still though, you've got a solid start in place for race two. I mean, you can do some damage from there, surely. <laughs> Probably damage, yes, <laughs> but uh, uh, whether we can go for the win, which was obviously the goal, I don't know. But today will today be fun. Starting last and uh, trying to tear our way through the field is uh, always going to be fun. And some new ponies under the hood, so it should be uh, go like the wind. Well, it's definitely made a difference today, so uh, yeah, hopefully they can keep going and momentum will be on our side. Great. Gents, have a nice race. Take care. Thank you very much. So there we go. See, things sometimes don't go to plan, so the Delta not working and that kind of scuppered, uh, scuppered Josh's opportunity. He's the aggressive boys. Hello, hello. Hola. Aggressive. Uh, Lorente, unfortunately. Levente, sorry, not racing. Pepe Oriol had a good session. Well inside the top 10, which is where you want to be at home. Barcelona's a track that overtaking is possible. It's not the easiest circuit to follow. It's not the easiest say, circuit on which to overtake, but it's certainly overtaking possible. It's touring cars, for the love of God. We can, uh, we can do some overtaking. Giacomo Gamande, not spoke to Jacko today, so I'm going to sneak around the back, see if I can find him. Hopefully his clothes which is, uh, there is no one, there is no one. But look, that's Jacko's laptop with his lap on it there. Just giving him, a driver coach gives him a little bit of advice uh, around a lap where lap time can be found or lost, ciao. And we go around back, look, a random racing seat. So Jacko is not around, but that's a little Sparco, little Sparco race seat. Anybody who's into sim racing, I can pick that up and sell it to you if you like for your rig. <laughs> so no. Giacomo Gamande. I've seen Juan Pablo Montoya knocking about. Uh, in fact, there he is. He's probably too small on the screen, but the guy in the black shirt, there's a van, don't get run over, run, run, run. Uh, Juan Pablo Montoya has absolutely nothing to do with the world of TCR touring cars, but he's a very cool man. So uh, I am going to walk over and see if I can annex him for a minute and talk about why he's here, which of course is his son, Sebastian is racing in uh, one of the junior formula open wheel events so really cool we see a lot of cool people uh, in the paddocks we saw Emerson Fittipaldi back at Spa Frankishon and uh, you know what I feel really bad actually I don't want to interrupt him because I'm, I can't even argue that I've got something to do with work because uh, I've got nothing to do with championship but yeah Juan Montoya really really cool and Dino Vaganovic in fact I'm gonna have a word with Dino because I know Dino Dino Hello, you've got nothing to do with TCR, but I'm going to talk to you anyway. This is the TCR vlog. How are you doing, man? How's, uh, how's your weekend going? Oh, good. Well, it was a bit tricky, but uh, now we got the race. I really need to go, but... Uh, uh, yeah. Formula One driver in waiting. Needs to leave the camera. Take care, mate. So Dino Boganovic, uh, 11th he was in qualifying, but he's part of the Ferrari Driver Academy. So he's seen as, a, as an up-and-coming Ferrari prospect. I know him. One of my uh, many tasks uh, outside of TCR is working for Ferrari in their esports competition. And Dino has attended a few events in Italy with us, uh, sort of representing the brand and whatever. He's a really nice guy, really fast in a race car. That's his race car, actually, just while we're here. Really fast in a race car and also really fast in a simulator. In fact, there is Dino just getting decked out. So I caught him just before he goes into his brum brum and goes race race. So. Uh, 
beautiful paddock actually quite a few people here today the sun's come out after scary amounts of fog that made me think oh no we're gonna have a Nürburgring part two uh, but thankfully not an hour's delay but we got going in the end and it's always nice to see sun shining a busy active paddock plenty of fans plenty of cars plenty of drivers and uh, I reckon actually you know what and this is like completely utterly fanboy but I reckon I'm gonna stop now because I want to go and have my photo with one Montoya, uh, which is really, really, really fanboyish, but it's a driver that I've always very much enjoyed. So uh, I'm gonna say goodbye, and I'm gonna pop back in a little while. I wanted to get in the commentary box today for Quale uh, with the camera, but the timings, because of the fog, were a little bit delayed. So I will, as part of this vlog, try and have a little tiptoe around the comms box and show you the different things that we get involved with. But until that moment, I am going to wave goodbye in the vlog and go and do my little child fan thing and see if I can go and pester our Colombian racing driver friend. So, from me to you, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you in the next part of the vlog. Cheerio.